Austin, what are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to propose to her. Austin, God has chosen a man to be the head of the home. The husband is to be responsible, to be the provider, and the initi initiator of love in this relationship. And by God's power, you have the strength and the character to love Audrey as Christ loves the church. You must do so that she will find in you the security for which the heart of a woman truly longs. And Audrey, it's God's purpose that you be a loving wife and that you reverence your husband. It is your role uh, to respond to Austin's love for you. Austin, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? Will you love her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, in poverty as in wealth, forsaking all others, keep uh, uh, all others keep you only under her so long as you both shall live? Do you so promise? Audrey, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? Will you love him, honor him, and obey him, and keep him in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live? Do you so promise? <clears throat> Please face one another and join hands. Austin, as you place this token of your love on Audrey's third finger of the left hand, please repeat after me. Audrey, with this ring, I seal these vows and pledge my love to thee. Audrey, as you place this ring on the third finger of Austin's left hand, please repeat after me. Austin, with this ring, I seal these vows pledge my love to thee. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, what a great privilege it has been to watch you work to bring this couple together. They've entered into this covenant today with you and have vowed to one another their unending love and devotion. And we pray your richest blessing upon them, upon their home and any children that you would see fit to bless them with in the future. Help them to remain faithful to you and to one another. We thank you for your goodness and ask these things in Jesus Christ's precious name. Amen. I pray about power vested unto me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Austin, you may kiss your throne. <laughs> Jesus Christ pro proclaimed, Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my distinct honor and privilege to present unto you Mr. and Mrs. Austin Wagahoff. <laughs>